Andrews lobs it into Teresco at the foul line. Swings it out. Russo for three left side. He hits. Charlie Russo has been one of the most consistent three-point threats in the Northeast 10 Conference since he arrived on the Southern New Hampshire University campus just over two seasons ago. A native of Syracuse, New York, Russo committed to SNHU after a season at Notre Dame in Massachusetts. Uh, out of high school, I, uh, I, went, I decided to go to prep school in uh, uh, Notre Dame Prep in Fitchburg. And uh, the recruiting process started there immediately. You know, we always had coaches in the gym. And uh, Coach Gore was the one uh, who first saw me. And then uh, Stan came and uh, watched me play uh, a couple open gyms. And we, uh, he offered me after about a week seeing me. So that was my first offer. And uh, that was going to be my only offer because I committed uh, pretty soon after that to come, to come play here. And on my visit, you know, I just felt like home. Uh, the city reminded me of Syracuse. The school and coaches were, were inviting, and uh, I was excited to come to come play here. So it was a good, it was a long process, but it ended with a good result. Russo joined a Penman team fresh off a regional championship and a trip to the Division II Elite Eight. Southern New Hampshire won the Northeast 10 Championship Russo's freshman year before returning to the title game his sophomore season. After fighting for minutes his first two years, Russo has become a fixture in the starting lineup and credits the upperclassmen in his first two seasons to his development. So I was fortunate as a freshman. Uh, we came into a, to a winning program. You know, they just came off an Elite Eight uh, win going to the regional. And uh, I got a great, some great experience in those players. Uh, Rodney Sanders, BJ Cardarelli, uh, a lot of Adrian Oliveira, all those guys that really had the experience and knew what it took to win. Uh, took me under their wing and taught me my freshman year what it took to win and it led us to a championship, the NE10. And then I kind of continued that, uh, fighting for minutes and then going into my sophomore year, fought for uh, more minutes, uh, got back to the finals. We won a regular season championship. Uh, it came uh, just a little bit short in the finals, but got back to the NCAA tournament. Now this year, I think that everything I've learned from those past two years really helped me with uh, knowing what it takes to win. Even though we're in this funk, we have a lot of players that know, kn knew what it took to win and we just gotta get back on track because uh, we, we know what it takes and so do our coaches. Growing up in Syracuse, Russo has been a lifelong fan of the Syracuse Orange men's basketball team. As fate would have it, Russo's first collegiate start would come against the team he grew up rooting for. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better experience uh, than going home, my hometown, playing in front of the, the fans that I've, I, I'm the same fans as, as them, you know, rooting for Syracuse as a kid. Uh, to get the opportunity to go and, and play in the Cary Dome against my hometown team, was, uh, was an honor. You know, I thank Coach Beheim for that and uh, all the people that made that possible, all the front office people. But to get uh, my, hear my name and uh, where I'm from being called out in the carry dome from Syracuse, New York, that was, that was pretty special. And my parents and my family and I are going to remember that for the rest of my life. Southern New Hampshire enters Saturday's matchup against New Haven in the midst of a five-game slide. Russo sees similarities between this season's team and the regional championship squad of three seasons ago. He believes the winning culture established by that team can lead this Penman contingent out of their current funk. We stay, we're trying to stay focused. We're not trying to look uh, at our losses. You know, we, the regional team that won the Elite Eight uh, had a similar record toward, with, toward, with, that we had going into this uh, time period of the season. So they knew what it took to win. And good thing is we got a lot of guys that were on that team that knew what it took to win. So hopefully we can figure it out as a team, get a chemistry going, and uh, just really buckle down and practice and get mentally tough coming into the second half of the season. Walters kicks it out to Russo, open left side, he hits another three, that's two of those for him. Six points and a three-point lead for the Penman, 16-13. Nice to see Charlie begin to make those three-point shots consistently. We've seen glimpses of it throughout his career, but now really lethal from long range.